Welcome back to the channel guys and today uh, I started a project that I want to start for a long time. I've always had this question, okay? I've always wanted to fit like a full-size mining rig in like an ATX case. Just I just want to know if it's possible, right? You know, just I, I like I like to have I have these questions. I just need answers. So uh, obviously the first obstacle you come into is how can you fit that many graphics cards in a case, right? Or I mean, it's, it's all about finding a, because I don't want to use risers, right? I want to stick them right on the board. Because, I mean, how else do you fit them in a case? So the first obstacle is finding a motherboard that has like eight PCIe slots. Uh, well, I didn't, I looked, went online, I started researching. This, is, this was the best thing I found right here. I found this Asus X299 Sage slash 10G motherboard. And this is like a workstation board. You can see it has seven full-size PCIe slots on it. That was the closest I could find. This is the, the motherboard with the most PCIe slots that wasn't like a, you know, like a riserless board or anything. Like, I want to be able to fit this in an ATX case. And so this is what I found. But when it, I, didn't, I didn't do enough research. I literally just bought it. Like, oh, let's, let's buy it. And, I mean, on the box here, I got worried because it says up to four-way multi-graphics card power. Like, you can only fit four graphics cards on that thing. I mean, you're probably thinking the same thing. Like, how the hell are you supposed to fit, you know, seven graphics cards on this? Yeah, so I got these founders cards. I'm just going to stick them on here so I can show you what, what it looks like. You know, I don't actually want to, like, plug them in. But I'm putting them in the PCIe slots, though. But you can see that they're, like, there's, like, one millimeter gap here between these cards. So even if you can fit them, it's, like, these things are going to overheat like crazy. There's one slot left over, and the, the card's going to hang over the motherboard. Let me see if I can get this in. Yeah, this is what with four 3070 Founders Edition, and I mean, you can see this gap. This is like how thick this gap is. And I fit four cards on, and the last card hangs off the board a little bit. But I mean, this would technically fit. And it said, the box says it supports four GPUs. So this is probably what they're thinking, you know? They're thinking, yeah, this will work. This is this is it. This is just like insane. Like a little bit more. Like there's like not even any board left. It's just GPUs. So you're probably wondering how I'm gonna fit seven. Yeah, I have these A4000 cards, and this is seven of them right here. And they're single slot, so they're super thin. And ever since I got these down in the data center, I was like, I'm gonna see how many I can fit in a case. I just it's been a minute and I finally decided that it's time to start this project. This might take me a long time because the problem is that these cards already overheat on an open frame and they have like, you know, they're usually stacked like this far apart on the open frame and they still overheat. And now I'm gonna be putting them like this and there's gonna be no room. But, so I'm definitely gonna have to figure out a way to cool these. Um, I'm going to take them apart and modify them, you know, with some copper shims. I think that will help a lot. And I think I'm gonna, you know, come up with some fans and stuff. But if that doesn't get cool, we'll have to get creative. But first, I just wanna see if it even works. So we're gonna take all seven of these, put them on here, you know, we're gonna put a processor, you know, RAM, we're gonna get it all set up to where we can even see if it even boots. Because the box, you know, again, the box says only four. And I can fit seven though. So I'm like, I'm questioning. I'm, like, I, I'm questioning my financial choices in buying this when it can only fit four. So let's find out. All right, so I got my test bench set up right here. We're gonna go ahead and uh, throw the motherboard on and get everything set up. I have a 1200 watt Silverstone PSU in there. That should be enough to run everything because seven GPUs, you, you know, using 120 watts a card, I mean, it's like 800 watts and then 400 for the board, which is way plenty. So I should have extra. It should run it. Uh, let's find out. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and stick this uh, motherboard on here. Look at this thing, holy crap. 
It's massive. Seven graphics cards on a f one board. I mean, it's a little ridiculous, but it looks it looks awesome. I mean, I can't wait to see if this even turns on. I'd be, I'd be really disappointed if it doesn't turn on, but if it does, I mean, look at this thing. And I mean, you can see right here, there's like barely any gap between these cards. So we, we already know we're gonna have problems, but we'll see if, the, we'll see if this uh, will even boot. All right, moment of truth. We got power, we'll see if it turns on. That's a yes, we got power, so. All right, I knew it was gonna turn on, but let's see if it boots. That's the real question. I wanna know if it posts. There's our lights. Come on. Come on. I don't wanna have to take this thing apart. Please work, please work. <gasps> Green. Hey, let's go, we freaking booted. That's what I'm freaking talking about. So, um, yeah, it's probably gonna work if it boots. You know, that's like the number one problem is booting. Unbelievable. Uh, this thing is ridiculous. All right, let's change some settings and we'll see if we can, uh, we can even mine with this. We'll see if it, we don't even know if it's gonna recognize. I mean, we could boot into the mining software and it might only recognize four. So I'm hoping that all seven will be mining. So let me go change some settings real quick. All right, so I'm basically going, I mean, you know, this keyboard is so freaking cool. Um, anyway, uh, I'm basically gonna go just reset everything. I'm gonna reset everything back to default. And then I'm going to um, boot, uh, uh, enable above G, uh, 4G decoding. Oh, sweet. It's already enabled. That's probably why it boot with seven cards. Um, and then I'm gonna go and set my boot device to the uh, USB and it's already set, perfect. I think we good. Save changes and reset. All right, I reset it. So let's, it's gonna boot right into SMOS. So we'll see if it works. Should, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if all four, I mean, I don't know if all seven will show up. That's really the concern is will all seven mine. All right, while we're waiting for this to boot up, I'll tell you what my plans are. So these already overheat, you know, I know that they're gonna overheat. Um, they have problems, even on open frames, no matter what. Um, so I think I'm going, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take them apart and add some copper shims around the memory because the memory is really what overheats. Um, and then the actual card's probably gonna overheat because, you know, there's no gap here. The fans are, are throttled because they can't get enough airflow in there. Ooh, it found it. Oh, come on. Let's see if it mines. Um, but, so my plans are, I'm probably gonna throw a fan on top here. Oh, hold on a second. We, got, we gotta see if this works for a second. Oh, GPU, six. oh, there's seven. All seven GPUs are there. Okay, it sees all seven. So suck it, Asus, saying only four graphics cards work. Bunch of crap, I mean, to be fair, you can only fit four graphics cards on there, but. Uh, give it like 40 seconds before the overclock kicks in here. So I have this uh, mining ergo and I limited all the cards to 120 watts. And you know, I kind of, you know, I threw my overclock settings on, but I just wanted to see if it will mine here. I, I know it's gonna overheat. I don't we'll see what kind of temps we get here. Yeah, 20 more seconds. Yeah, so I'm thinking about putting a fan, like a 120 millimeter or maybe a 140 millimeter fan right here on top that will just suck the air up. And then maybe we'll put a fan on the back here, these cables, I mean, we'll have to get creative, but, and then try and push air through. I don't know if that'll work, we'll see. Um, all right, there we go. We got some high temp cards and that, that memory's at 94. We're getting 121 mega hashes each. I mean, it should be higher. It's just, it's getting throttled right now because of the heat on that. And I don't think this is gonna last very long. I mean, it's, it's been one minute, so let's see. If I can run another minute before I have to shut this thing off. Got some, uh, found some shares here. Yeah, so I'm, I'm so stoked that this works. So in the next stage, I have to order some copper chains. I don't have any. Yeah, I mean, okay, here we go. Look at that. We're already, two cards are at 100C. Um, yeah, I don't know this one GPU is just 63 and 80. That's what I'm hoping that these cards will be at once I add the copper shims because this is way too hot. Um, yeah, so I'm probably gonna, have, I'm just probably gonna shut this off right now. I'm gonna let it go one more. 
see how hot they get. They'll probably start overheating and have air as the whole thing will shut off automatically. Yeah, 102 and rising up. Everything's just rising. So the 64C one must be the one on the very end here. It's the only one that has the fan on the outside. The rest are all the fans on the inside. But yeah, let me go ahead and turn this off because uh, we are, and actually I'm not, I don't want to let them sit there. So we're just going to unplug the internet here and we're going to turn it back on so that the fans will cool off the cards. You know, it's not good because we just heated them up and then we turned the fans off. So we're going to let them cool off. Yeah. So anyway, I'm going to add the copper shims and then see, we'll see it, what that does alone. And then I don't think it'll be quite enough. So we'll add the two fans. And if, and if that's enough, then perfect. If not, then I think that we're going to, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to take these cards apart and I'm going to either try and like remove the fans and re like remove the entire housing and just put a fan directly on the back. Cause I mean, if that doesn't work, then I think the, or, you know, maybe I can 3d print like a fan shroud, like put a fan here and just direct the air only between the cards. So I, I have to do something. Cause if, if, if I can't get to work with airflow, the only thing that's going to work is either water cooling, which is going to be super expensive. I, I don't know if I'm willing to take it that I mean, I am willing to take it that far, but I don't know if I can do it in a timely manner. It might be like a year long project where I buy seven water blocks and a freaking giant rad and everything. It'd be, that would be crazy. Um, or I can submerge it. And I, I obviously those will work, but I want to see if I can get it with airflow. And then I need to put this in a case because I, as much as I want this, I don't want this on an open frame. I want this like in an ATX case. So you guys gotta let me know what type of case I should buy, like an NZXT case, or I mean, I, I want it to be like a regular case. <laughs> Throw in one of my old, make a, make a sleeper PC. Well, hope you guys enjoyed that. This is the first stage. I mean, this is gonna be a multi-month pro project here. I'm gonna try and get all seven of these cards to be like, you know, cooler temperature. Like I want it to actually function, okay? And I wanna throw this in a, AT, a full ATX case. Let me know what cases you think would be awesome for this project. I'll check them out, because I don't have a case yet, so I need to order one. Um, let me know what cases, like what, what should be the contender here. And I want to look, I want it to look sweet. And so, yeah, I hope I can make it work with uh, airflow only. I don't want to have to water cool, but I, I mean, I will, I will do it for you guys. It just, it might take longer. Um, and I, I have my copper shims coming and I'll do a whole video on just putting the copper shims in. Cause I'm sure you guys will want to know how to mod the cards. Um, because even if you're mining with A4000s, you want the copper shims on. So um yeah thanks for watching uh you know like and subscribe helps me out but i'll see you in the next video